Namaskar students student in this video I am going to can uh, start a new chapter chapter 5 more on Microsoft Excel of class 6 computer let us begin after completing this chapter you will be able to use text formula in Microsoft Excel classify the types of operator list the rules to write a formula list operator precedence copy a formula to other cell use the function like sum average max mean define shorting and short the data perform various operation on cell okay insert and delete cell rows and column adjust row height and column width then create a custom list align rotate and wrap the text and print the worksheet so th these are the different things that we will be learning over here now let us start before I start, let me tell you what are the screen element of this Excel. Over here you can see this is a Microsoft Excel window. Okay. This is the Microsoft, uh, this is a quick access toolbar area. This is the office button. This is the ribbon area. This is minimize, maximize and restore button and close button. Let me tell you Microsoft Excel is of or is of uh, tabular form. Okay. It is in a table form. This table consists of row and column. Intersection of this row and column makes a cell. See, this is a column. When it is going down, vertically down, it is a column. See, column is named as A, B, C. It is named with the alphabet. Okay. And this is a row. It is going horizontally. Okay. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5, row 6, row 7. So, intersection of this row and this column make a cell. This is row 1 and column A. It makes a cell. You can see lot many cell is coming. Okay, this is the row 1 and uh, column A. It is making this cell. Again, row 2 and column A. Again, it is making this cell. So, each of this cell is made by the intersection of the row and column. Okay, each of this cell has a cell name okay cell address so how we are going to know see when I click over here it is showing over here in the name box this is the name box okay and this is the formula box this is a status bar area now let me tell you uh, how we can know that what is the name of this cell like if I'm clicking over here how can I know see this is a column column C and this is a row 3 so 3 C 3 First of all, it is showing C, then it is showing 3, okay? So, the cell address name is C3. Same way, if I click over here, this is the column R and row 12. So, this cell address name is R12, okay? So, same way, whenever we are clicking anywhere, you have to see that which column it is selected and which row. So, G21. So, this way, the cell name is being given. Now, see over here. We are working on this worksheet. This is a worksheet 1. Okay. Then we can also add worksheet 2. See, this is another worksheet. Worksheet 3, worksheet 4, 5, 6. You can add more worksheet by clicking on this button. Okay. You can add as many worksheet as you can. So, we will be working on individual worksheet. Worksheet is like a page. Okay. Like in a Microsoft Word document there was a pages right over here worksheet one we will be working over here we will be making a document over here okay the mainly the excel works with a number okay it works with the number it processes the number it processes the calculation much faster do the calculation much faster compared to the manually what we are doing now all this worksheet together form a workbook see book one book one means what it is a workbook in that workbook, we will be getting different worksheet. Okay, when this worksheet together makes what? It makes a workbook. Okay, like worksheet are like a pages of the workbook. Okay, so this way all this worksheet make a workbook. We can also name this workbook by any name that you want. Now let us see. Take out page number 64 of your book. I am reading it. You listen attentively and follow this video. You have learned different formula in mathematics. 
in mathematics in microsoft excel formula are written differently a formula in microsoft excel starts with an equal sign and can be a maximum of 8192 characters in length the data in a formula can consist of any one of the following let us see one by one values values means a string or the numeric it can take a number or it can take a um, string also any alphabet any word cell address it can also take the cell address any cell name it can also uh, take the function name that is sum average mean max operator and parenthesis let me show you like over here i am writing 21 25 same over here 56 78 Okay, I want to find out the sum of these twenty-one and twenty-five, and sum of fifty-six and seventy-eight. Okay, I want to find the total. See, I am writing total over here. What I can do is that I can use the. I have to use the equal sign. Whenever we are writing any formula, we have to put an equal sign. Then we can also place the cell address. What is the cell address of this cell? That is C five. Then we can place the operator. Plus is an operator. Then click on this cell address that is D five and press enter. So we can see whatever we have written, it is showing over here in the formula bar. What it is showing? It is showing that we can use the cell address. The cell address of this cell is C five, and this is D five. And we have also used the plus sign that is the operator. We can also use another operator like into. It will multiply and show you the answer. So I think it is clear to you. Okay, now we are going to use the sum function. I will show you. I will explain you how to use the function. But over here, I am giving you the introduction. Equal, then sum. See, I am writing sum. This is one of the what you call the S U M. I mean that means a string. Okay, so then we am giving a bracket or a parenthesis. We can also use a parenthesis. Then select the cell address. Select the cell like C six and D six. You have to add these two number for that cause. I am selected these two cell, okay, and the, their cell address is appearing over here. And I close the bracket. This is a parenthesis. See, it is told in mention in the book that we can use this, and then enter. So I think it is clear to you that we can use this type of uh, data in a formula. Now text formula. to create a simple text value enclose it in double quotes like equal then i am writing microsoft and then enter what is happening it is showing microsoft okay or you can simply write as a microsoft then if you the another one is that the ampersand character is used to join text value to one another how let us see if i am writing equal microsoft then i am giving ampersand sign this is the ampersand sign okay this is an ampersand sign then excel and enter See student, first of all, when I gave a single string, what happened? Ah, uh, it is it was showing an error. Okay, the another way how to concatenate, uh, how to do the concatenation, how to join these two texts is to give a double quotation. When we are giving a double quotation, see, I have ended with a double quotation, then place an ampersand. Again, I have uh, placed this text in a double quotation, and I am pressing the enter. So you can see Microsoft Excel. Two text got joined. Okay, so the process of joining text value in a sequence within a formula is called concatenation. You can try with a single string. If it works, it's okay. But the another way is that we can also give a double quotation and it will work. Okay, so student, this is the end of the video. Go through this video and read the chapter. Thank you, Namaskar.